Hey everybody, welcome back to another Arrow Season 8 recap and review. Today we're talking about Season 8, Episode 2, entitled Welcome to Hong Kong. If you haven't seen this episode, click away from this video, go watch the episode on CWTV.com, and then come back here because we are talking full spoilers. Alright, let's get into it. So this show, the episode, picks up right after the last episode where we saw the collapse of Earth 2, and we see Oliver, Diggle, and Laurel in this motel area. Oliver wakes up and the monitor is there and he talks to Oliver and is like, see, this is what happens when you don't listen to me. You have to follow my rules. You can't interfere with other Earths, whatever. And Oliver's like, I can't just sit back and let this happen, you know? And he kind of like yells at him like, so is this what's going to happen to everywhere? Is this what's going to happen? Earths are just going to fall apart. People are going to die. And the monitor's like, yeah, so you got to listen to me. And that was an interesting exchange. And then immediately after that, the place they're in is under attack. Oliver and Diggle escape and with Laurel. And this really nice moment, well not nice, but like outside of the place they just were, this motel, whatever, you see Laurel yelling at Oliver, blaming him for what happened. She's like, you came to my earth and now it's gone. I blame you. And you see it like from her perspective, she's really, really shook by this. But also Oliver, you can see he's like really hurting. Like this is, he feels guilty for what's happened to earth too because he was involved. His involvement led to this happening, or at least so he thinks. So I thought that was a really interesting take for this episode. And it, does pay off in a really nice way towards the end, which I'll get into. But it turns out Oliver is back on Earth-1, all of them are back on Earth-1, and they're in Hong Kong again, which was a big place in season three in the flashbacks. And so their mission is to find Dr. Robert Wong, who will somehow play a part in the monitor's plan. While they're looking for Robert Wong, they run into Katana, who is back in Hong Kong, and she helps them on their mission to find this doctor. And it turns out the triads are also looking for this doctor for their own reasons. And they figure out, Diggle, Katana, and Oliver, that the, the triads, the gangs, are trying to recreate the virus from back in season three. And this doctor has actually cracked the code and they want him to recreate it again. So now there are two different groups going after this doctor and the triads snatch him up. Now this leads to another exchange between Katana and Oliver as they're planning how they're gonna get this virus back. But Katana apparently also knows about the monitor, like her organization, the place that she comes from, they've heard of him in Legends, whatever. So Katana asks Oliver, why are you doing all this? Why do you suddenly trust the monitor? Which is a fair question and I'm surprised Oliver didn't really ask it himself, but then his explanation does make sense. He's like, because I have so much to lose, I sacrificed so much to do this. I know that I'm gonna die in the crisis and so I have to really make this worth it. I really have to do this. But she's like, it's gotta be more to it, Oliver. You really gotta know what you're doing this for, which is fair. And I thought that was a really great exchange between the two of them. And now, fast forward, well, I guess going back. So while this is all going on, Laurel is trying to get back to Earth 2. We see that she tried to use the extrapolator, but it wasn't working because Earth 2 is gone, but she just hasn't accepted that yet. So she finds this other guy with the help of Lila from Argus and they try and find this other doctor who may be able, this other scientist, who may be able to fix the extrapolator, well fix it. And he tries and it doesn't work and then he looks it up on his computer that Earth 2 is gone and so you see Laurel really come to the realization that it's all real, like Earth 2 is gone, all the people she knew there are gone. And Katie Cassidy killed this episode. like. Her acting was so good. I felt so bad for Laurel because you really see the pain in her eyes. You see that she's just broken because again, this is the life that she knew is now completely gone. And also like the way she put it is that she finally got her life together. She finally turned down the right path, went down the right path. She really had her life together. She had a team. She had a superhero identity. She had all this great stuff. She had like so many people around her, great people after she had this whole redemption arc in the last season and now it's all gone, all out the window because Earth 2 is gone. Her home is gone. And I feel like it's kind of similar to what Killer Frost is going through in The Flash where she was saying, I finally got this life of my own and now it feels like it's gonna be taken away from me. But for Laurel, it actually has been taken away from her because her home is completely gone. And I thought that was a really great angle. And I think that's what the strongest thing is about this episode is that you really feel the emotional weight of what's happening, building up to crisis. Like you see that there are actual dire consequences to what's happening. Like. If they don't succeed in this mission, everything is done for it. Like there's no way that they can fail. And so I think that's what's really pushing the story forward and it's really gonna make Crisis hit that much harder when it finally happens. So I'm excited to see where that goes. 
But back to Oliver's storyline, we see that he decides to use the virus as bait to draw out, oh yeah, by the way, China White is apparently leading the gang. She's back. And I kind of missed her explanation for how she got away because last time we saw her, she was with the new Suicide Squad. I kind of missed that part where she explained how it was kind of quick and I was like, wait, what? So I probably go back and watch it for that part. But anyways, she's there. She has the doctor in her custody and they're gonna trade the doctor for the virus that he did manage to create. And then it turns to this fight. Oliver is fighting to try and get the doctor while Diggle is trying to get the disease back and Katana is going after China White and they have a really great fight. And Katana has China White down for the count and China White's like, you better kill me. And then she hesitates and then China White stabs her. And I was like, whoa. And then Black Canary Laurel comes and saves Katana, which is a really great moment. And the episode ends with Laurel coming to accept what's happened and that she's gonna fight to save the rest of the multiverse. Oliver has decided that he's not gonna do any more of this mission until he figures out what the Monitor is really up to, which is fair because he's basically dedicating his life to this mission because he has to give up everything in order for this to work. And then there's, at the very end, the biggest surprise is that Lila is actually working with the Monitor. Like she knew that this was happening all along. So I really want to see what happens when Diggle finds out about this and also want to see what this leads to in the bigger crisis. Like, what role does she play? Because we also know that that actress is playing another character in the crisis event, like from another Earth, I'm assuming. So we'll have to see where that goes. And of course, there is a flash forward story still involving JJ, John Diggle Jr. And he's trying to get some weapon or something. Again, I kind of like tuned this part out. It didn't really do anything for me. It does feel like a backdoor pilot to the future spinoff that I think they're planning. And it really does not do much for the current story, which is supposed to be a big lead up to Crisis. So again, it doesn't, it doesn't really fit for me. And whenever they go to that, it just feels like a tangent. It doesn't feel related. It feels tacked on. I do hope there is some way that it ties in. I don't know how, but if not, it is what it is. But again, I wish there was some other way that they could use these flash forwards. Maybe instead not going so far back, maybe now going to like towards the end of Crisis. I don't know, but there's gotta be some other way to do it. But overall, this was another great episode. Right now they are two for two on episode. Again, this is a shorter season, so I expect that every episode is supposed to be top notch leading up to Crisis and then the finale after that. Because again, this is the end. This is the final season. So I really hope they end on a high note. Have you seen Arrow this week? What did you think? Let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.